Look at this dude. Whoa, it's in, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Hey, man, if you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button. Click that bell while you're at it so you can be a part of the post. Know the gang family, best family on YouTube. That's no cap, hands. <laughs> hey, man, look, we are here for another chili vlog today. Logan has been sick. I ain't gonna cap. I feel like I've been sick for the past, not not, not like <sighs> sick, but like, like, <sighs> sick. You feel me? Like, I've been sick for the past like month. I ain't gonna cap. But I'm finally, finally, since yesterday, feeling way better. Way better. And I'm happy about that. So I hope Logan pulls through it. Uh, but we're gonna do less talking, more reacting. Let's dive right into this video. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today I want to explain why we haven't vlogged in a few days and what's kind of been going on. So I've been dead for like a week. Probably about no, six days. Yeah, no, he has. Like he's been begging, crying, screaming. Yeah, I've called Tito begging for my life over and over again. Like he's like, he's like, when's it gonna stop? I'm like, I don't even know what you have. Yeah, so let me explain, guys. I was we were supposed to go to Boston to watch the Patriots play the Eagles because Brady was supposed to be honored at halftime and then we were supposed to go to the Monday night football game uh, with the Jets versus the Bills where Aaron Rodgers tore his Achilles and then we were supposed to go to New York City after that and then we were supposed to go to the VMAs because we had bought these tickets off Charity Buzz. We had a big weekend plan. It was huge. So we were supposed to get on my bus at Thursday morning, arrive in Boston, you know, Friday night, Saturday morning, go to the game Sunday, then go to New York City Monday, then spend a few days in New York and then today on Wednesday I was supposed to try to get back home on Wednesday night so I could film Thursday. Thursday. Well, Thursday morning, the morning that my bus was supposed to come, I woke up shaking, nauseous, like felt like I was going to throw up. And I was like that. Um, what, what, what day was it? What, what day was it? Uh, Monday, Monday. And that was only because my weekend over the weekend was crazy. We had a big mansion, big party over the whole weekend. So when Monday came around, when I came back home, my ass was over here like, oh, I'm cold. Oh man, I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm hot. Like I had to recover like that. Like, oh, I, I know that feeling. Die, stomach killing me. And I called Tito, I was like, Tito, it's happening. Cause I had the norovirus back in July where this same thing happened. And I said, Tito, should I throw up? He said, throwing up makes you feel better. It does. It does. No, it does. I, 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 oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I swear on everything, even in the mansion that we was li living in over the weekend, I, I, I can't even tell you how many times I threw up in my fucking bathroom, bro. I sat there throwing up because I knew it was going to make me feel better, and I did feel better. Every time I threw up, I was like, whew, we're good. And then, like, <laughs> and then you just proceed about your day. You get rid of everything in your stomach. That's that like, part. That come out anyway. So when I had the neurovirus, I threw up and I never stopped throwing up and I died that day. I went to the hospital. They had to sedate me done. So that was back in- That was me back in 2020. Um, I was in the hospital for nine days and I couldn't stop throwing up. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't stop throwing up. That was me back in 2020. And that was because my liver failed, my kidney failed, my stomach failed, a bunch of other organs failed, but I made it through. Went through dialysis. I'm good now. July. So this, it felt just like the norovirus. I was like, what the hell? I can't have it again. So I refused to throw up because I, I said, if I throw up, I'm gonna die. It's, I, it's gonna, I'm gonna be in the hospital all night. So the first day, I just took a bunch of nausea medicine. I ended up laying down mm -hmm. and falling asleep. I when I woke up, I still felt the same. And I felt like that for the last five days. Today, I'm a little nauseous. I'm, a little I'm sorry if I'm pausing a lot right now, but I'm giving you guys a little bit of insight about me as well. Um, but as well for me, I'm a very nauseous person. Like, I like... I was in the car, uh, in an Uber uh, car the other day, and I was getting super nauseous. By the time I got to the crib, I ran into the crib and I threw up. Like, I, I'm a very, like, I get nauseous easily. Smells, sights, anything gets me nauseous, throw it up. And that's something that's recent. And that's the only reason why I feel like I'm also, like, losing a, like, a bunch of weight right now is because of how nauseous I get now. Like, I get nauseous off everything so like 
I'm busy, but I, I gotta it. go film. But I'm just, it's been, I missed out on the Boston trip. I missed out on all the trips because I couldn't ride on a bus or even fly like that. That's true. Mm. Um, it is, because because there's physically no way you could. Yeah, so I'm feeling, I'm, I'm about 80% right now. And I'm, I'm uploading a video today uh, on, on SML, the, the junior Egyptian pyramid video. Uh, I want you to know, I, I, I filmed half of it like two weeks ago, and then we had to finish the other half on Thursday. Is it noticeable? It, I kind of, I, I rushed through it. So a lot, so on Thursday, the day I was sick, uh, I had to get half the video. So half of the, the second half of the God video, uh, you know, I, I was so sick that we made a makeshift courtroom at my house because I was supposed to go to the, we usually use this escape room for the courtroom scenes, mm -hmm. but I was so sick and couldn't move. Like, and if I got in the car, I'd get nauseous. So I literally just said, guys, uh, we got to do something. It took me like eight hours to get those. You remember? Yo, he was there forever. And then he told me when he came back, I, I was like, yo, you're alive? <laughs> yeah, because it took he me. He was gone for you know how many times like like look i gotta I, like for me like i got i got like uh uh roommates that are youtubers and then i got other youtubers that be swinging by and stuff like that they be knocking on the door hey you good <clears throat> yeah i'm alive <laughs> For hours. It took me eight hours to get four, the last four minutes of that video. So the last four. Yeah. Imagine a whole video. So anyway, um, here's a video of me in the hospital that I took Saturday night. I think here's that. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today is Saturday, September 9th. And, and this is the one place that I hate the most is the hospital. And I have refused to go to the hospital for like anytime i get sick or anything like that i try to cure it which always like i'm good now you feel me but I, i'm still a nauseous person but i'm good now but if something happens like bro like i've i feel like i've broken my hand and i've like i i, I ooh, if i could i gotta do story times i literally have bruises all over my body scratches all over my body just from over the weekend and i'm like dude i feel like i should go get checked out to make sure i didn't my sh up you feel me <laughs> but i won't do it because i don't like hospitals bro <laughs> i was supposed to be on a bus on the way to boston to see the patriots game where they're going to retire brady's number at halftime or honor him at halftime but for the last three days i've been so sick i've been using the bathroom diarrhea non-stop nausea 24 7 and so finally after three days I decided to go to the ER and they are giving me an IV because I'm severely dehydrated because every time I tried to drink something, I would get super nauseous and they just- I swear to God, bro, and it, sorry God, using your name and vain like that, but um, that's how I was. I literally could only do this just to get it into my system and then I'd be like, and then I have to go into the bathroom and throw up. No cap, no cap. Just did a CT scan because I have uh, prior stomach surgeries and they wanna make sure I don't have a bowel obstruction or some type of in intestinal clog or something. Um, I'm whispering because they're outside there. But anyway, I was supposed to go see the Brady game where they honor him because you know i'm a big tom brady fan and i don't know i'm just laying here thinking and i'm like i'm kind of sad you know because i haven't been able to see my daughter for three days either because Damn. whatever i have i didn't want to give her so she's at my mom's house and i don't know i just i'm just like right now they just gave me nausea medicine and i'm still super nauseous like i just don't get it they gave me zofran and it's not working so i don't know what i have but whatever it is for three i remember Back in uh, 2020, when I was in the hospital for nine days, I remember I was transported to multiple hospitals. And every time they transported me into an ambulance, I was throwing up in the ambulance and they had to give me a bag and I was just sitting there just going, mm, like, I swear on Either everything, ways, I, would, bro. I haven't been able to eat anything. Whatever I eat, I feel like I'm gonna throw it up. If mm -hmm. I, I, I basically can't eat. I tried drinking water or Pedialyte, Gatorade the last three days, but every time I took a single sip, I, I would run to the bathroom and I just want to give you guys an update what's going on right that now. I've, because I'm like, I've literally been through that same situation and it's not, it is not um, a good experience in other words. Like it is, it is, it is terrible. And like, I'm still going through it now. Like, like, 
Like, even right now, like, I mean, I haven't, bro, like, like, I wake up and I'm like, mm, like, I don't feel, like, you feel me? But it is what it is. Like, like, for me, at least, like, I think I'm good, but I don't know. Maybe I should go to the doctor. I don't know. Day three. So this started Thursday morning. This is Saturday night. And still not any better i mean definitely a little better than thursday because thursday there was oh my god but i didn't come to the er sooner because i thought it's only gonna last a day yeah, and yeah I feel yesterday that. i was like it's only gonna last two days and now i'm on my third day and that's why i said okay that's it i'm going to the er because you know if i'm missing a tom brady game like where they are yeah, that's home, a big like, deal I know not playing but if i'm missing like something that i didn't want to miss then you know I'm you know it's serious not okay but yeah anyway you know it's i keep throwing up acid in my mouth i don't know what that is either but uh yeah i'm gonna give you guys an update whenever the god i might be giving you guys so much tmi right now so much and i'm going to apologize but i know exactly what logan is talking about right now like even over the weekend when we was at the mansion for the pool party and i literally the only thing i ate over the whole weekend over the whole weekend at that mansion one bite of pizza, some gummy worms, and some peach worm or peach gummies, whatever they're called. But all I was doing is throwing up acid. So when you throw up all that yellow, orangey stuff, that's how it was for me too. I was so nauseous I couldn't eat. I could like I could like drink like my my you feel me? My apple juice apple juice you feel me i could drink my apple juice fine for the most part until it got to a certain point where i was like mm, like i was getting nauseous and like the girl that i was with that was with me over the weekend i told her i was like look i gotta i gotta go throw up um like she lay in the bed turn the fan on turn the sink on close the door so that she couldn't hear me throw up but I, that's all i was doing bro it, it was bad. They gave me an update. But yeah, this, this pretty much sucks. And I was laying here and I was like, might as well vlog something, talk about it. So I'll see. I'll give you guys an update when I get an update from them. So I'll see you in a minute. Also, I look like I have a big fat double chin and like, I'm not <laughs> even fat. Like, am I? Because I don't, I don't, I mean, this is me. This is, so why would I have a double chin? Oh my god, I look disgusting. I look fat as shit. Huh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I sit there with myself and I'm like, Damn, hair going on with you, man. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know I could have a double chin. <laughs> it looks so bad. Is it because I have a beard? What is it? Anyway. It's probably the shadow of the beard, I will, uh, to be honest. Give you guys an update in a minute. So yeah, I was in the hospital. I finally went to the ER and they told me, they tested me for flu. I tested negative. They tested me for COVID. I was negative. They tested me for salmonella poisoning. I was- Bro, when I went into the hospital <laughs> and my, all my stuff was failing, they tested me for COVID, the flu, HIV, for AIDS. They tested me for everything, bro. <laughs> And I was negative with everything, bro. Negative. They tested me for everything. They said, just sounds like a stomach bug or a stomach virus. But Tito didn't get anything. No. And we open mouth make out all the time. Uh, every single time. And my daughter didn't get it. And, you know, and Chili didn't get it. Mm -hmm. And so no one else has gotten whatever the hell this was. Now, I did eat Whataburger the night before. And I have been eating Chipotle every single day. But why? Why? It's good. I mean, it is it's good. good. Every day. So not anymore. In those last five days, I barely ate anything. But before I got sick, I ate Whataburger. I ate a patty melt from Whataburger and I ate Chipotle earlier that day. So I, that's why I thought maybe salmonella because Chipotle had a, is known for that. But no. So <laughs> I, known for that? Yeah. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. For real? Chipotle is known to have salmonella. No, it is not. I swear I, I, I've that. never heard of that. I promise that. you it's true. So anyway, guys, I just want to let you know, I, I almost died. And you know I'm sick because I missed Tom Brady at halftime. And I, I ended up watching it on my laptop. We know it's oh, serious if we missed Tom Brady. We, we would have seen so many cool things this last weekend. We, it would have been like insane. It would have been the same. Like, because we would have saw it. We would have won. Aaron Rodgers. Football Rogers game. Up. Aaron Rodgers getting clapped. Let me see. Yeah. It's a, the tower lights. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go to New York City on September 11th because I've never, i never seen the, the, mm. the lights where the towers used to be. We were supposed to have such a cool weekend, but I died. And so 
Um, and I bought, I had, I had to sell all my tickets to the games and it was, anyway, I was, I was laying in that bed. Damn, I just realized this video is two weeks old. Have I been that behind on videos? Like for real? I'm sorry, y'all. Like my bad. Five like that's dying. on me. Literally that's dying. on me, and Every day I call Tito and say, Tito, <laughs> I said, where's my gun? I'm doing it today. <laughs> I said, no, don't do it. Just throw up. He was like, I'm about to die. Yeah, no, I'm going to die. So anyway. Uh, we're gonna try to start vlogging every day now. Again, Stop. no, we're, we're, we're not gonna. No promises, dog. One day it's gonna happen. We'll just see you guys the next time. Yeah. So I know this vlog is kind of short, but we'll see you. Literally, we're gonna go. To, we're going to the Jaguars Chiefs game this weekend. Oh, it, that's gonna be fun. I already have the tickets, and we're going. It's only five hours away from here, unless I literally die by then. And guess what? Jaguars <laughs> want to know, baby. One and oh, and the Chiefs are zero and one. What the uh -huh. hell? What is that? We about to get two and zero. That's what it means. Yeah, oh, Chiefs zero and two start in the season. What the hell's the Chiefs? Uh huh. So anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow in our everyday vlogs. Bye, Kiki Beans. <laughs> Hey, man, look, Logan, I hope you're good now. I didn't realize the video was two weeks old, so I'm, I'm sure you're good by now. Uh, but I do hope the best. I do understand your experience as well because I've been through that and I'm going through it still currently. And that's probably why I keep losing so much can wait. But it's life, man. It's life. Our... our we're gonna die whenever we die. We going our organs are gonna fail when they wanna fail. It is what it is. But hey man, I have everyone in my prayers. Uh keep me in your prayers as well. Shit, man. I'm trying to survive until I'm at least, at least 75. <laughs> if you guys made it to the end, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Smash the like button, leave a comment down below, click that bell while you at it. Till next time, I'm gonna see y'all next time. I'm out.